Good evening, I'm Yanji Denise. Kenny Choi has the night off. Well, it was a moving day on Capitol Hill as hundreds came to honor Senator Daniel Inouye. After tomorrow's ceremony at the National Cathedral, his casket will be flown home to Hawaii, where residents here can say their final goodbyes in two separate ceremonies. The first will take place at the state capitol on Saturday evening, and that's where we find KITV4's Cam Tran live. Cam. Well, hi there, Yunji. The senator's casket will lie in state in the middle of the state capitol, which is right behind me in a ceremony his family calls simple and elegant. Looks good. The preparation for the special remembrance ceremony has begun. Maintenance crews test out the lights that will shine on Senator Daniel Inouye's casket as he lies in state in the center of the Hawaii state capitol Saturday. From 5 to midnight, the public can pay their respects to the war hero. The Royal Order of Kamehameha will escort the senator's casket as it arrives at the Capitol. The McKinley graduate was made an honorary member of the Royal Order 50 years ago. We'll be standing guard. And then there's a portion in our ceremony which we retrieve the cape from the casket and give it to his family. Once the senator's body arrives here at the state capitol, there will be a short program lasting less than an hour. One of the speakers during that program will be Governor Abercrombie. For the ceremony, the senator's family does not want flowers. Instead, Inouye's wife, Irene, requested mourners contribute to the Daniel K. Inouye Fund, established at the Hawaii Community Foundation. The money will help organizations and causes the senator supported. And Hawaii residents don't have to wait until Saturday to honor the longtime lawmaker. You can sign a memory book at the governor's office starting at 745 tomorrow morning. That memory book will also be available during the ceremony on Saturday. And speaking of that ceremony on Saturday, there won't be any parking here at the state capitol. Instead, the city is asking people to park in parking lots along Punchbowl Street and along the city lots along Baratania Streets. And as you can imagine, Yanji, Yanji they're expecting a pretty large turnout for this public ceremony. I'll send it back to you. Thanks so much, Cam.